So I'd like now to first give the floor to Karl-Heinz Herb to report on his observations over the past days. Well, thank you very much, Peter. Uh, welcome, everybody. The last session, isn't that an achievement? I think, yes, we achieved quite something. I did not read through all the 50 handwritten pages of session reports. I read some things, but mostly I discussed with people. Uh, you see the names, them who gave me a lot of feedback and inputs into doing this, what I was supposed to and asked to by Peter to do, to wrap up a session of uh, a conference of three days, intensive discussions, presentations, and uh, this is what I put together. Please excuse my bias. This is, of course, biased by what I do and by my research. I cannot represent the entire, neither the SSC nor the entire GLP community, but I give my best to do a broad, uh, a broad picture here. What did we see? Well, 700 participants. This is twice as much as we've been in the Arizona meeting. We are growing. Uh, the GLP, the global land issue, the theme is attractive to people. We had 103 sessions, we had 10 keynotes, we had around 700 talks. Uh, in nine parallel sessions, in general, 12 sessions had been happening at the same time, uh, which on the average means 60 participants, 60, 60 attendants per session on average. Well, for every session you went to, you missed other tens. Everybody was suffering on that. This is really uh, actually what we've been suffering here, uh, but this is also, this is a sign of success at the same time. Is it maybe the conference of missed sessions? Uh, I don't know. Uh, we had, everybody was kind of very excited, but everybody was also a bit complaining, oh, I would like to go to your talk, but I have a talk myself. Uh, and so this is really, I think, one pattern we observed. Um, this is now more personal, my feeling or my observation. GLP is a large group, is a growing group, but it is still a very coherent group. There is something, there is a strong force keeping us together. So we have, of course, centrifugal forces with so many people and so many topics, but at the same time we have centripetal forces. I think this will be one task of the GLP SSC and whatever comes after to monitor and to look at this, because there seems to be something like uh, a common thing. I was thinking, what is the common thing? And I think on the most general level, it is we share a problem-oriented research paradigm. We share the research paradigm of the land use dilemma, as John Foley was calling it in a paper a couple of years ago. Uh, we had themes here. We had sessions related to themes, four of them, rethinking land change, local land users in a teleconnected world, impacts and responses, and governance. Uh, they relied very nicely, and I will not now talk you through everything, to the Annette kind of challenges, ways forward topics uh, on time and space interdependence, land teleconnections, moving away from the territory-based research, uh, revalorization, equity and fairness, the governance topics. I think we covered all of them. We covered all of them nicely. But what did we do really? Now, well, I will present you a conventional approach for the starter here. Something I was thinking, ah, how, can we, how can I summarize 700 talks? How can I summarize 100, uh, 100 sessions? This is a world map, uh, hand drawn. Uh, <laughs> and I asked uh, two of my PhD students, Maria and Christine, uh, to just show where are the case studies we've been discussing here. Uh, now the red circles are local or national case studies and the blue ones are supra-regional case studies. And we see, well, we focus on the world, but we also see some things, uh, some things are still a bit missing. North Africa, North Africa, it will be a region of high dynamics in the future. We are not doing much there actually at the moment. Uh, North America, not so much in comparison to other regions. Uh, well, Siberia is also a bit missing. And what intrigues me, uh, we are doing a lot of national case studies all over the world, but not so much in Africa. In Africa, we do continental studies. We should think about this, but this is just a starter. I cannot give you more insights than just starting with this. Now more observations content-wise. Um, Discussing with people what is the most important thing you are observing from what you are doing and from the sessions is that there seems to be a divide in the GLP community and in the research. 
social science approaches we find mainly in case study-based research, in local case study-based research. Um, the global scale, we do not find so much political or social sciences. We find economics there. At this level, the economics rules. We should think if this is, if we're happy with that, or if we should move beyond that. But, and we have uh, seen many of them, there are worthwhile attempts, but still few, but worthwhile attempts to upscale from the case study, to generalize, to find general patterns of things. And this is very important to stress out. And there is a, a other posit positive uh, but. Uh, the case study research is very much, and we have seen this very, very much, and this relates to the future Earth agenda, very much solution oriented. We don't do just a case study for understanding the systems. There is the problem oriented research direction, visible, very strongly, and this is what we are doing. Um, Billy Turner said uh, we are kind of a little bit lacking theoretical work, and I would agree here, and I was thinking, is it really true? How, how hard is it? Yes, indeed, I think we are lacking it a bit. But, and I will show some things I see emerging and continuing, which are, uh, I think, high on the agenda, what we are doing in GLP. And then a very personal now assessment, and this might look very different from other people, Topics I missed by thinking back what have been hot topics in Arizona and kind of have not played a very big role. Not saying that they have not been touched, but they have not been so visible. I think it is the land competition, food, fuel, fuel topic we did not address so much. It is the sustainable intensification and ways of better land use. And it is food security, a big topic. And I also think here this is an agenda for the GLP SSC and for the community to link up with other communities who do this research, where we share this focus. But these are, of course, and this is my thinking, these are, of course, GLP agendas. Uh, I will now go through a few topics where I think they are really strong highlights. Uh, one is uh, the global land use data sets, or global land data sets, land change data sets. It is an effort which we started here as a community a long time ago, and it's continued, and the focus is going beyond land cover. We are looking for management. We're looking for intensity. I have learned that there are many, many new remote sensing products emerging. We have new, better sensors. We have higher resolutions. We have better consistency of products. We also have better approaches in non-remote sensing data gathering, crowdsourced data. This is, I think, a very, very good development we're doing because there seems to be a shift in the data philosophy. Data sharing is something kind of everybody, it's the good tone of GLP, and I think this is extremely important. Uh, a challenge remains, which is of course uncertainty of remotely sensed data, uh, GIS data, independency of data set is uh, not to underestimate, and of course validation, accuracy, and so forth. And, and I was told by people doing remote sensing, we have now a window of opportunity, we can now help the people who sent, who launched the sensors in doing prioritization. And we have to do so, otherwise it will be done what will be done. But there is a window of opportunity to say now what we need. Historical processes. I think a new topic or a stronger topic was regimes, and I think there we do theoretical work. This is something where really theory-based research is securing. Not only empirical, not only analytical, but really conceptual. Teleconnections. I think this is a new topic which was not so much discussed in Arizona, but uh, we had many sessions and many talks tackling with that, uh, going beyond territorial land system science, looking at the processes, understanding the patterns of processes and not understanding or, or, or describing the patterns of phenomena. I think that is an important distinction. This is, of course, also something linking the case studies with other scales. Land sparing, land sharing, I mentioned here because we had quite a few sessions on that, and I think they are very interesting. They have, it is an example for me for solution-oriented research. It's not just how is the system going, but what type of landscape do we want to have? Which one is better for whatever instance? This is an important thing. Uh, there is, we see and we can see the power of simplifications and oversimplification. It is a striking topic. We don't have a good agreement what is now better. Also because we have a very high agreement, the pure dichotomy, land sparing or land sharing is not a good way to go forward. Navin Ramankuti called it land sparing. 
We have to find other ways, but it was a good start in this direction. And the future. Where are we going? By looking back, uh, what do we all together as community? I think this problem orientation of our research, this is the focus, this is the, this, this is the success story actually of our research. This is the very strength. Uh, land use, and this we see, is a theme, a topic of very high attractive power. It is key to sustainability. And we have to have a focus on land use in whatever future Earth will do. Within the GLP community, cooperation across discipline is, is the normal thing. Nobody is really uh, kind of, or I have not observed this, attacking other disciplines uh, because they do things differently. There is a high esteem for the, for the other. And I think this is also key of research. And we have a large body of knowledge and experience in involving and working and co-designing, to use a buzzword, uh, with practitioners and stakeholders. And I think this renders GLP a role model for what future Earth will do. Thank you.